The city of Boston in the mid-1800s was a key economic center of the United States during a time when the city witnessed the birth of many of its renowned cultural and philanthropic institutions. In 1859, as Abraham Lincoln was campaigning for the U.S. presidency, a group of gentlemen in Boston were discussing a critical issue closer to home. They were concerned that while there were several homes for aged women, there were no such homes for men. A year later, and with just $21,000, this group of Boston Brahmins created a home for respectable, aged, and indigent men in the heart of Boston's bustling commercial district. It was the start of Rogerson communities as we know it today. Providing a home for people without adequate resources or family to care for them in their later years. The group hired prominent architect Gridley Bryant to redesign a South End building into a larger residential facility. Bryant was already known for Arlington Street Church, the Charles Street Jail, and Boston's Old City Hall. Ironically, 25 years after designing the home, Ridley Bryant moved in as a resident and lived the last five years of his life there. At the turn of the century, the home captured the interest of Charles E. Rogerson, a distinguished Bostonian who became well known for his leadership role at the Home for Aged Men and for founding the Boston Foundation with his son. Together they set a standard for charitable giving in the city. Years later, the Home for Aged Men honored his memory by renaming the organization Rogerson Communities to better reflect its growing and diverse responsibilities. The home flourished through the early decades of the 20th century, and in the 1950s, the board decided to make yet another move. They purchased land overlooking Jamaica Pond and hired a prestigious Boston firm to design a new building specifically to meet the needs of older men. The new facility offered the best affordable retirement of its day for low-income elder men. Today, that building is named Rogerson House and is the area's premier facility for people with Alzheimer's disease. No one could imagine the tremendous changes ahead for this organization when James Honeywell was elected board chair in 1964. During his 30-year tenure, Honeywell initiated many new projects and had the great foresight to hire Jamie Siegel. Siegel brought in a new vision for Rogerson communities and planted seeds for new development. With Honeywell's support, he helped create a new paradigm for independent living. Siegel took the organization from a single home to the multi-dimensional organization it is today, a network of 26 innovative facilities and programs. He pioneered adult health programs in Massachusetts, and today Rogerson sets the standard with five adult health programs throughout Greater Boston. With the development of its first adult day health program, followed by its first independent living facility, Barnsworth House, Rogerson expanded its mission to include women. Rogerson also became the first provider of subsidized elder housing to offer on-site social services and actually encourage residents to keep their pets. With the development of Beacon House on Beacon Hill, this highly regarded project put Rogerson communities on the map making it Boston's premier nonprofit real estate developer. Other nonprofits began to seek out Rogerson's expertise in reclaiming abandoned properties and realizing complex development projects. Rogerson's alliances with other groups continue to meet the growing needs of a low income and elder population. The innovative programs developed by Jamie Siegel in the early 1980s brought even greater recognition to Rogerson Throughout the next three decades, Rogerson continued to find opportunities for expansion. At the start of the new millennium, Rogerson was asked to spearhead the redevelopment of the former home for aged couples in Boston's Eggleton Square. Rogerson has already transformed two of the antique buildings on this property into beautiful, affordable housing. They also oversaw construction of a new building, Spencer House, offering both affordable apartments and an adult day health program. Always a proponent of keeping elders active, fit, and engaged, Rogerson launched an exciting new fitness initiative, a strength training program designed especially for elders. Today, a more comprehensive program, Healthy Rogerson, is being implemented throughout the organization. 
as Rogerson celebrates its sesquicentennial year, it remains steadfast to the mission originated by its founders to provide quality housing and services to those who are, in their very own words, long on years and short on funds. Today, as Rogerson prepares to meet the challenges of the future, four new projects are in development, and there are countless opportunities awaiting. Working together, we can do even more to guarantee that elders in our city will live with dignity in housing they can afford, and that they will live longer, healthier lives with vitality.